Hi everyone, Patty Lochta back uh, with some tools for living. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, for those that haven't watched me before, I am a Christian, I am a counselor, a therapist, a clinical pastoral counselor, and um, I'm here to talk with you about tools for living, uh, ways that I have found to be really helpful in my life um, that I would really like to share with you. Um, so before we get started, I would like us to start out with prayer as the Lord tells us to pray without ceasing. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for being here with us, with us this morning. Thank you for healing me physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and relationally, Lord. And thank you for healing whoever is watching this video today physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, and relationally, Lord. You are the Alpha, you're the Omega, you're all that exists. You are the great physician, Lord. You heal us. Everything that we do, everything that we don't do is for you and for your glory, Lord. I ask that you teach us what it is that you would like us to know today um, so that we can feel your presence more deeply, Lord, so that you um, can use us to help heal everyone in this world, Lord. Um, I ask that you uh, take over my vocal cords today. Speak through me, Lord. Not, more, not my words, but your words, Lord. Not my will, but your will, Lord. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. So thank you again for joining today. Um, uh, I wanted to let you know that I started numbering my videos. I'm looking at um, the videos that I'm creating as free therapy. Um, my mission is really to help the Lord to heal everyone on this planet, whoever is needing therapy, whoever is needing a touch of his grace, his mercy, um, his love, his peace. So uh, I've started numbering the videos so you're aware of which videos you've watched, which videos you haven't. I encourage you to watch them all. Each of them um, represents just a piece of the healing process that I feel like the Lord has put on my heart. And I ask you that if this helps you, I encourage you to please subscribe, which is free. Also like it, and also please share this video and any videos uh, with anyone that you think would benefit, that would help uh, help them to heal. Um, that's my mission statement, to just really uh, be the Lord's ambassador, to spread his love, his light, his grace, his mercy out into this world. So wherever anyone, um, is if they can just get a touch of his grace um, just please if you think that this video or any of the videos that I do will help them please share them all it's all free and um, it's all for the glory of God so that he can use us to spread his light his love his grace into this world so today uh, what I feel like the Lord put on my heart is to speak about um, the chakras uh, the chakras are um, a part of the subtle body. Uh, some people are aware of the chakras, some people are not. Um, it's been said that the word chakra um, has been referred to or actually mentioned in the Vedas, which is very old Indian scriptures, um, in as early as uh, 1000 to 1500 uh, before Christ. And um, the chakra is known to be a wheel in the subtle body, so it's not that we can really touch it, but we can feel it. It's in the subtle body, so it's in our energy system. And um, it's been known that we have many of them. I think there's like 144 chakras, uh, but we uh, there are seven main chakras that we're going to focus on. Um, and they're listed, uh, they, they are a part of, like kind of like our spinal column. So we're gonna review them today starting with the root chakra, um, there's seven, and we're gonna go over each of their significance. And um, so I'm gonna put some music on, um, and, and I will show you, and I'll, I'll put this uh, uh, link at the end of the video so that you can uh, watch it if you would like to. I'll just show it up, I'll show it, oops, I'll show it right now so that you can see it, what it looks like. And um, I'll put the link so that you can press it. But I like to put music on um, just as a way of drawing us deeper. So we'll see how this goes. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, I, I always think about how music calms a savage beast. This is illumination piece of the Gregorian chants. 
and um, it's just so beautiful. So it has birds and chanting monks in the background. So I thought it would be really helpful as we go over this material. Um, I want to encourage you that if you feel drawn to, feel free to close your eyes. You don't have to look at me. Um, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, but just allow the music and the words to go through you as we talk about this. Um, I, I first really became familiar with the chakras in my 20s uh, when I uh, went up to an ashram in South Ballsburg studying under Guru Mai Chivala Sananda. And uh, she was just such an amazing, beautiful Indian teacher uh, that taught us so many wonderful things. Um, and she taught us about the chakras. And we meditated. And when we meditated, um, it, we were always encouraged to keep our backs straight. And the thought is that all our chakras are aligned uh, with this um, big fancy Indian word called the uh, Shashumna Nadi, which is the subtle body which is across our spinal column. And the thought is that if we can keep our backs straight and as we clean out and balance and open each of the chakras that we're going to talk about today, um, it will help us go higher and higher and higher till we are at the crown chakra which is our connection to the Lord. So feel free to close your eyes at this point um, if that feels comfortable to you. And I'll go over this material. So first I'd like you to focus on um, the root chakra. And the root chakra is at the base of your spine. So if you can uh, just either, if you're laying down, that's fine too. Just try to keep your spine straight. And if you are sitting, um, keep your spine straight as we go over each of these. So um, as we go over the root chakra, it's at the base of your spine and its uh, color is red. And what I love about also the chakras is that it's the color of the rainbow. If you ever notice a rainbow always has the same colors uh, and it's uh, said Roy Gaviv, which is an acronym for red, orange, yellow, indigo, blue, let's see, did I mess that up? Let's see, red, orange, yellow, roy, ga, green, um, and then biv, blue, indigo, violet. So um, I'm going to mention uh, each chakra as we meditate. So the root chakra is at the base of the spine. Its color is red. And this area, if you can just kind of picture uh, a subtle energy wheel that is spinning and it's when it spins um, it is open we want it to be open we want it to be balanced and as it's open and balanced we are able to feel grounded and uh, centered and secure um, this uh, chakra is uh, known to be connected with the bladder the colon um, it gives us emotional security. It gives us a physical identity. So all those um, thoughts that you may have about your physical identi identity, your stability, what may be getting in the way of any of that stuff, uh, maybe financial needs or uh, basic needs, I want you to picture a spinning red wheel at the base of your spine, and we're going to breathe into it. So as you breathe, we're going to breathe slow and deep. We're going to breathe into the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine. Take a big breath in and picture yourself kind of breathing out any debris that might be there, anything that might be getting in the way of your being fully present, uh, being stable. And we're just going to blow that out. And now we're going to picture the Holy Spirit and we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit and breathe into that root chakra and just visualize it spinning, spinning as a red wheel that's grounded, that's open, and that's balanced. Good. And so now we're going to go up a little bit higher to the sacral chakra and its color is orange and that's just below your navel your belly button 
and above your pubic bone, that area. And that area is uh, responsible for sexuality, for pleasure, for creativity, for emotional self-worth. So just picture an orange wheel that is spinning in that area and be aware of any issues that you may have in that area. And we're going to first take a big breath in and as we do, we're gonna breathe in any debris that may be in that area. And we're going to breathe it out. And in our second breath, we're gonna breathe in the Holy Spirit and we're gonna just visualize that Holy Spirit going into that orange wheel, spinning, balancing, where we can feel pleasure, where we can feel creativity, where we can feel emotional worth, self-worth. Good. And so now we're gonna to go to the solar plexus and its color is yellow. And this place is um, just above um, your, your navel in the upper abdomen. And the organs in this area, uh, the stomach, any of the digestive issues, any of the eating issues are located in this area. And it's also known to be a place of self-esteem, of confidence, and personal power. So I want you to picture a yellow wheel spinning in this area. And again, when it's spinning, it's balanced and it's open. So first we're gonna breathe in any debris that may be in that, that wheel, anything that's getting in the way of it spinning based on your own personal issues and breathe that out. And this time as we breathe in, we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit into this yellow spinning wheel, which is in our solar plexus, which is above the abdomen. And picture it opening, picture it balancing, and picture your personal power, your self-esteem, and your confidence. All being balanced as this wheel opens and balances. Good. And so now we're gonna focus on the heart chakra. It's also known as the heart center. This is the center of the chest. Its color is green. And just picture a spinning green wheel in this area. The heart chakra is known to be the bridge between the lower chakras and the upper chakras. So picture a green spinning wheel. This is a place um, where it allows us to have the ability to love and connect with others, to have compassion and profound love without attachment. So as we breathe, we're going to breathe in any debris that may be in that area of the heart chakra and breathe it out. And then we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit and just picture the Holy Spirit balancing, opening this heart chakra so that it's more in balanced and we can love profoundly without conditions, where we can feel compassion and love and forgiveness for others. Good. And now we're going to focus on the throat chakra. And the throat chakra's color is blue. So just picture a spinning blue wheel. And this area is important for communication for the voice, for the teeth, the mouth, and any organs in that area. And when it's open and balanced, 
we can speak and listen with compassion and confidence, love and truth. So just be aware of these concepts, be aware of this blue spinning wheel. And as we breathe in, let's breathe in any debris that may be getting in the way of its opening, of its balancing. And we'll breathe it out. And as we breathe in, let's breathe in the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to balance, to open this throat chakra. The Holy Spirit, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is a great physician. He is who heals us. So invite him into every area of who you are, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Good. And now we're going to go into the third eye, which is the area between the eyebrows. So just picture between the eyebrows an indigo colored wheel that is spinning. And if you notice, or if you know any Indian people, even the children, you'll notice that they have a dot on their forehead or a dot in between their eyebrow. And that's called the bindi. And the bindi is uh, an external dot that reminds them of their inner eye and encouraging them to open up their inner eye. So this inner eye, which is uh, the third, uh, the third eye, it's called the third eye, is a place of intuition, imagination, and when it's open and when it's balanced, it's a place of intuition. It's a place of knowing the bigger picture. I love, uh, years ago, I read a book by Baba Muktananda that uh, talks about the play of consciousness, just really uh, being aware that we are so little. <laughs> in this world and that everything that happens, all our issues, all our struggles, all our tragedies, everything that happens is just simply a play of the Lord. And so the Lord is using us to be his instruments, to be his ambassadors on this planet. So as we open up this third eye, this color of indigo, allow yourself to be aware of the bigger picture. Allow yourself to be aware of your intuition. Invite the Holy Spirit in. So we're going to first breathe out any debris that is getting in the way of its spinning, of its balancing. And we're gonna breathe in that debris and breathe it out. And now we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to balance this indigo wheel, this third eye. So our intuition, our ability to see the bigger picture, to see things the way God sees things, can open, can increase, can balance. And just breathe out. Good. And now we're going to the crown chakra which is the seventh chakra. So we've started from the base of our spine and we're going to the top of our head, which is the crown chakra, and its color is violet. And it's the top of our head and it's a place of awareness. It's a place of enlightenment. It's a place of spirituality where we can fully and completely connect with the Lord it's a place of bliss. It's a place of enlightenment where we can merge with the Lord, where we can connect with him and feel his presence on the deepest level so that we can know why it is that we're on this planet, what our purpose is, why we are here, and what he wants us to do. So just picture that violet wheel just spinning open and balanced. So breathe as you breathe, 
just picture any debris that may be in that area that's getting in the way of it spinning and balancing. Just breathe it in and breathe it out. And then we're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit and we're going to invite the Holy Spirit to this uh, violet chakra to spin and balance it. The Holy Spirit as the great physician to heal anything that's getting in its way so it can spin fully and completely so that we can indeed merge with the Lord where he can be within us fully and completely completely on the deepest level than ever before. So just breathe in that Holy Spirit. See that beautiful violet chakra wheel spinning. And just breathe out whatever you're ready to let go of. We're going to take some more breaths in Remembering that square breath where you hold your breath for as long as you can. And then you breathe out what you're ready to let go of. Again, breathe in the Holy Spirit. And you can picture the Holy Spirit going into any of these chakras, any of these areas, keeping your back straight and just visualizing that any energy that may be coiled, that may be stagnant, that may be staying still, that it's gently rising through the top of your head so that you can be fully and completely present with the Lord. Breathe in, hold your breath for a few seconds, and then breathe out what you're ready to let go of. Awesome. I like to do the Tong Lin breathing with the chakras, which is what we're doing, uh, where we're breathing um, in any debris that may be anywhere in these chakras. And just picture the Holy Spirit inside us like a furnace, just burning up that debris and then breathe it out so that you can feel each of these wheels, each of these chakras from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head, purifying with each slow, deep, square breath that you're breathing in and out. Good. And just remember that whatever we do, whatever we don't do is for the Lord. He has created us so beautifully and so wonderfully in our mother's womb. What he gives to us, he gives us life, and that's our gift. And what we make of our life is our gift to the Lord. So I encourage you, each and every moment of every hour of every day, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, let yourself be aware of all these energy centers and ask the Lord, invite the Lord to come in to be with you and to clear, purify, cleanse each of these areas so that he can use you more fully, more completely as the ambassador that he has created you to be. If you are not a Christian yet, that's okay. Um, I would love to speak with you. If you have any questions, any comments, um, if you would like to learn how to follow the Lord, uh, please feel free to reach out to me and I would love to help you with that. Or if you would like to schedule a session to go deeper, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I am seeing clients. My email address is clinicalpastoralcounseling3, the number three, at gmail.com. That's clinical pastoral counseling three, the number three at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful to you. 
If it was helpful, if it was helpful to you today, I encourage you to play it again so that you're aware of these concepts. Um, and please feel free to share it with anyone that you think uh, may benefit. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.